Hi and welcome to this week's Movement Monday. Today we are going to look at some exercises for the knees and the ankles to strengthen the lower body. You will need a chair and it will need to be nice and sturdy. Whilst completing the exercises, if you experience any pain, please stop straight away and rest and take the exercises at your own pace. If I do 10 reps and you feel like you can only do five, that's absolutely fine. Okay, right, we're going to start with a warm up and shrugging the hands, just boosting that circulation and really rubbing those legs and the backs of the legs and reach down and those calves and roll it nice and slowly. Okay, shake those hands, shake those shoulders. Brilliant. Okay, now just lift the heels off the floor. We are focusing on the lower body today. Lift those heels nice and slowly. Really flexing through to those toes and just start to lift those toes and heels a little bit quicker. Starting to boost that circulation. If you don't take it to a march. along the floor. Now if you're doing this on carpet, 
You might want to see if you want to get a plastic bag underneath your foot so that there's less friction, okay? And you're just simply taking one foot out, taking that heel forward, and bringing it back. And we're going to do ten on the same, on one leg. Two. No tension in the knees, no tension in the legs. Three. Four. Five. Really pressing that heel into the floor. Six. Seven. to strengthen your hips, the muscles in your legs, so your quads, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. It's also going to work on the muscle, uh, on the tendons and ligaments. Okay, next side, next leg. So dragging that heel, pushing that heel into the floor. One, two, three, four, very gentle but very effective. Four, five, with a smile, six, brilliant. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, hold on to your chair or popping your hands on your hips. You're going to, we're going to do some leg lifts, okay? So you're just going to straighten your leg and flex your foot. One. And lower. Nice and slowly, no rush. Two. And lower. Three.
pull the chest back, pull the shoulders back. And when you exhale, you're just going to round the shoulders down, okay? Breathing in through the nose when you inhale and out through the mouth when you exhale, okay? So ready, we're going to do 10. Ready, let's go. So breathe in and exhale. Breathe in. to mobilize your spine. So the next exercise is a figure of four and you're just going to take one leg up as far as you can, whether that's here or here or here, okay? Flex that foot, okay? Flexing the foot means an extra support around the knee because the muscles are working hard, okay? And then you're just gently going to press down on the knee and hold. You'll feel a stretch in your quads. And we're going to hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the foot and bring the foot down. And swap feet. And flex and press eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Give those legs a shake. Well done. Okay, so moving on to the ankles, we're going to sit on the front of our chair and we're just going to place the heel and the toe on the same spot. So heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, six, seven, eight. Really working the ankle mobility and working the calf, those calf muscles. Next foot, remember the heel and the toe are placed on exactly the same spot. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give those legs a shake. Well done. Continuing to promote the ankle mobility, take one leg out and just going to circle the ankle round one way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and back round the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring the feet back together. And the other leg, one way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And remember, good flexibility in our ankles means that you have a stronger gait and so tasks like walking are much easier. And our final exercise is a really good ankle strengthener. Okay, so feet slightly apart and you're going to turn out your heels. And our final exercise is an ankle. 
ankle strength now. Starting with your feet apart, sitting up nice and tall. You're going to turn out your toes. And then you're going to bring your toes back together. Take them out and push those toes in and out. If those toes are off the floor and bring those toes back in together. And again, you'll know if it's working if you feel like your ankles are warming up. Again, if you're causing any pain, please stop bringing those toes in and out. Lift those toes up, bring them in and out and bring them in. And we'll do one more. Out and in. Lift those toes, heels up and just lift those. I will finish off with some stretches. It's been a really gentle session, but it's always important to stretch afterwards. So just take your chair. Okay, and we're just going to step to the side, take one leg forward, take one leg back, and stretch out that calf. So making sure that both feet are in the same direction forwards, that hip back heel is down, and you'll feel a nice stretch in the calf muscle. And release the heel, both feet together. And the other leg, we're going to go again, so we're just taking one leg forward, one leg back. Both feet aligned, pointing forwards, so that you really feel a stretch in that back calf muscle. Release the heel, feet together, with those legs a shake. Okay, next we're going to do a quad stretch, so holding on, okay, to the chair, fingertips, bring the knees together, squeeze the bottom and push the hips forward and you'll really feel that stretch in the quads. You can take your hand off the chair as well if you need to. And hold. in the front of your leg, down your quad. Lovely. And take one foot back, lift the heel, keep the back nice and straight, and you're feeling a great big stretch down the back of the hamstring. Together and swap legs. Nice straight back. Lift those toes. Nice big stretch on the back of the leg. These legs, give them a shake. Give your legs a shake. If you do that a couple of times a week, you'll start to notice that your knees and ankles maybe ache a little bit less and definitely start to feel stronger. Have a great week. Goodbye.